Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we're making crusty bread in a Dutch oven. This is both my first time cooking with a Dutch oven and my first time making this sort of crusty loaf bread. This recipe is from thecomfortofcooking.com and I'll put a link to it down in the description below. We'll also put product links down in the description below. The recipe calls for two teaspoons of kosher salt. Since we didn't have any kosher salt, we use a teaspoon and a half-ish of sea salt. For the yeast, we use the instant yeast fast acting because that's what we had. The Dutch oven we're using by Lodge, it is their eight quart capacity Dutch oven, and it has a 12 on the lid. That lets you know it's 12 inches in diameter.
I do like using the parchment paper because it made placing the dough inside the Dutch oven that much easier. Other things of note that I think work out pretty good is to every so often turn the lid of the Dutch oven. That way if the coals aren't even on the top lid, which they're almost never going to be, then you can keep the hot spots to a minimum, kind of even them out. And I turn the lid about every 10 minutes. bottom the clue for having too many coals on the bottom was the burnt crust on the bottom of the bread but that was easy to slice off so no problem there The inside texture of the bread was so soft and the crust was nice. It was good and crusty, which is what I wanted. I want that crunchy little snap on the outside. I do think I would cook it for less time or at least watch it to get a feel for how quickly it's cooking. The recipe says to cook it for 30 minutes at 450 degrees and then to take the lid off when you're in a regular conventional oven. And then you're letting the top brown for another 7 to 15 minutes or so. So I figured I was looking at 30 to 40 minutes of cook time, but that's not really correct. Um, really within 30 minutes, the bread was ready. The most important part, the bread tasted amazing. Growing up, my dad used the Dutch oven a lot when we were camping. So while I've never done this myself, I felt like I had a little experience, at least exposure to the process. The biggest thing is knowing how much coal, how many coals to put underneath and on top. So a quick internet search brought up a cool little chart. I was using it sort of as a rough guide because I know experience really is the best teacher, especially for this. But that guide said to use six charcoal briquettes underneath and 14 on top. So that gave me an idea that I wanted a fairly light set of coals underneath, probably double or a little bit more than that on the top. The end result shows that I did good on the top coals, got that pretty much dialed in, but I need to use way less coals underneath or do something to raise up the bottom of the Dutch oven so it's not so close to the coals. There are a couple of accessories that we had that made this process so much easier. One is we got the lid lifter and that allows you to take the lid off the top of the Dutch oven and it has a brace kind of at the back. So that keeps the lid from tipping too far one way or the other when you lift it because you want to lift it very slowly and easy and just try to do very deliberate motions. That way you have 
less likelihood of dumping the coals or ash into the pan. The other thing that's really cool to have is little crisscross kind of folding lid stand that you can set off to the side and then you have a place to put your lid. Another thing you can do is either have some logs or rocks or something to the side of where you have your Dutch oven. Those will work just as well. Just have something to put your lid on so that you're not dumping it down in the dirt because anything that gets on that lid when you move it to the side is going to end up in your pan. Down in the comments, let us know about your Dutch oven baking experiences and tips and tricks that you might have that will help us all out. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.